Black Star Robot here. Live. Am I alive? Yeah, I'm alive. I am alive. Here I am. Flying back to New York City. And this is what happens when you come to a place when the party started, but you came too early. Headed back to the airport, and everybody's coming now. Today's Friday. Since Thursday, this place, the Mandalay Bay, has become jam packed. There is a convention going on, so maybe about 10,000 people at this hotel in the uh, the Delaney, Delaney Hotel, this was adjacent to this. Movers and Shakers. Um, I talked to somebody that's uh, part of the convention. I think it's something for glaucoma, so they're going to be selling their wares and trying to promote this shit. But I'm saying, if I had came Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I've been in the mist of what's popping off here in Las Vegas because a lot of things were shut down only to be opened on Friday. Hmm. Saturday. My eyes is kind of red. I was seeing very foggy after I went into the swimming pool. The chlorine got into my eyes. I'm swimming underwater, you know, trying to, you know, swim back and forth and see how my, you know, how much I can do. And, uh, It's sort of declogged now, but um, uh, I think an investment into, that, into those goggles it might be a good idea, but I've never used them before. I always, sometimes I do keep my eyes open when I'm under water and swimming. But, lo and behold, there's no one here but me. I'm the only person here. So I have to be at the airport like a little bit earlier. So I was told to be here at 10 to 8. It's much earlier than that. So I'm here. Ready to rock and roll. However, it is a man with a dog. Walk by. One of the few but not many people who have uh, surfaced in this area. We have an Apex dry cleaning company here. Uh, man walking over. And his phone doesn't have any, any idea that he was being recorded. Probably picking up some dry cleaning. Home pickup delivery. I don't know what that's for or whatever. We'll see when he come out that door what he has uh, in his hand. But lo and behold... I'm the only person here waiting for the shuttle, tour, Uber, whatever, come to take people to the airport, take them wherever they're going. Had a good time. I didn't fail. I did practice the five Ps, proper preparation prevents poor performance. So I did not leave out of here. Here you go. So he's obviously taking things from the truck and bringing it inside the hotel. So, um, listen. The net net, as Kevin Samuel says, uh, had a good time in Vegas. Really did. 
Now I understand why people come back and forth several times to Vegas. A lot of places to eat, good fun. It's cool, it's cool. I like it, good vibe, not cheap. Not expensive, you know. Mandalay Bay, where I stayed at, was a four and a half star joint. Decent. Price was not, ooh, different. The price was not bad, it's pretty cool. One, two, three. You know what I mean? Nice, nice, nice. Let's we'll save up a little money. You know what I'm saying? Instead of hanging out at the local lounge every week, drinking, partying, shaking your butt. You know what I mean? Take a little trip. Take a little trip. You only live once. Take a trip. That's Black Star Robot advice. You ain't got to listen to me. I ain't nobody. But enjoy yourself. This place is family friendly, meaning that they have pools, they have a um, a beach, a man-made beach, which they somehow are able to make waves. They have sand. Cool. Multiple pools, but each pool is designated for the surrounding um, uh, hotels like Delaney, the Four Seasons, um, I think those three uh, for the uh, Mandalay Bay. Um, there is some a downside to this particular hotel. I did not know that this is the hotel that the man, the sniper, shot and killed 58 people. Talk to the janitor in Spanish. Yo habla español también. And he said that he was running for his life when he heard the shots. Hmm. Then I remember seeing the hotel on the news with the gold windows that you can't, you know, you can't open the windows. Just, you know. I was like, yeah, that is the hotel. So when I was at the pool, I did kind of like have my, um, was kind of like lounging in the cut Whereas I wasn't like a clear target, just in case you got a copycat sniper. Which sometimes you do. Um, I also, 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 I'm supposed to clock out at the hotel at 11 a.m. However, Mr. Smarty Pants Black Star Robot. here lounging around pussyfooting around into three and then when I attempted to go upstairs to my room the key was not working key not working I go to the front desk oh my key is not working okay let's see what the situation is okay Oh, sir, you were supposed to have clocked out at 11 a.m. Hmm. What time is it now, ma'am? It's uh, 3.30, sir. Oh, heaven forbid. I did not know. Which I did not. So. She was nice. Oh. Extra charge. I couldn't get um, to stay longer, which I didn't need because my stuff was packed and all. I'm ready to go. So, I 
that worked out with no extra charge. They did have a sleepy fee of $176, which I didn't know, I should have known because it was mentioned. But yep, yeah, here and there, no eh, trivial matter. Don't travel if you don't have any money. Please don't. Doesn't make sense because extra things happen. Um, if you're not able to pay it, you look kind of foolish. So don't take a trip if you have no money. Unless you're super natural budgeter and you like calculating and all that. And if you got a budget like that, you probably shouldn't be taking any trips. My opinion. Black Star Robot does have opinions. Sorry. But. Yeah, he's taking out some cleaning. Stop. See, when you got that paper, and I'm going to tell you people something. Some people got paper. A lot of people don't. But some people got paper. So get your paper out. Invest. Talking to some of the bartender, bartenders, which they have a lot of information. Back in um, when the COVID started, the MGM stock, because MGM, MGM owns a lot of these hotels here. And the other hotels are owned by Caesars Palace. So that's the ones who basically have Las Vegas locked down. Anyway, MGM stock was down to $10. According to the bartender who works here, uh, these hotels was closed down for one month. Nothing. It's ghost town. Nothing happened. And uh, so they lost money. And then when they came back slowly but surely, which they're coming back now. Now things are start, starting to, um, you know, move back up. You know. But uh, and the MGM stocks has. It's like a hundred dollars now. So if you had bought them at ten, all right, you do the math. <laughs> so they're back up, and um, I did. I, I met a guy who has a Reddit. Um, um, I don't know if it's called a channel or a page, or whatever you call it. Pretty smart guy, he's retired, man. You know what I mean? He's hanging out talking trash, talking about stocks and all that kind of stuff like that. Um Mexican guy named Alvarez. But he doesn't speak Spanish. Me, a Negro, I speak Spanish. Whatever, whatever. But uh who got? I'm on this channel right now, uh, checking him out. Probably uh, you know, follow his stocks and his, you know, this is you know, knowledge. And he's a what you call a swing trader, which I never heard of that at that you know, before. I didn't know what a swing trader was. I knew what a day trader was, and I know what you know a trader does. This whole stock, a swing trader, doesn't hold stock as long as a, a day trader. They trade it swings in days. You know, they, they make their stock in and out and make their money per day. A swing trade is like maybe a, a, a couple of weeks. That's how they make their money. So, that was cool. Uh, I mentioned earlier I saved the girl's life on the plane. Also got a $150 bill squash because I was able to figure out the waitress's name which she bet me that I couldn't which I did um 
overall I had a good time. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I walked, got some exercise in because my doctor did say, Mr. Johnson, you're a fat pig. I am gonna put you on diabetic medication. I said, Doc, you're moving very fast. Slow down. Let's do a dietary thing here. Let me cut back on some stuff here. Drop some pounds and let's see where we at after that. He said, okay. So, that's what I'm doing. I already dropped 15 pounds. Not gonna say it's hard, not hard, but it takes discipline, which I have discipline. I have that. Mm hmm. I have discipline. That's why I was able to come to Vegas with X amount of dollars and leave with X amount of dollars. Even though I spent money, ba 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 ba. My last play, well, I just played it a little minute ago for the $6, made 20 in Boogie. <laughs> but I did make, um, my last play, I made 400 Penny machine. I take it. I'm not a gambler. I'm what you call a hustler. A hustler takes the money and runs. A gambler keeps playing, think he's going to get bigger and bigger. A hustler doesn't care. As long as he benefited and profited and popped off for a, you know, a number that's satisfactory to him or her, that's good enough. But losing? That is not an option, ladies and gentlemen. That's not an option for Black Star Robot. That is not an option for Black Star Robot. No. The lost column to me is a lonely column that I don't want to be in. Go. You already know what that is, Cohiba. If you smoke cigars, that ain't a cheap cigar. I'm sitting here waiting for my shovel to come. Smoking a Cohiba. You know, you do have ladies walking around. For those that like the snow bunnies, they're here. Don't hate, celebrate. If you're lonely, masturbate. Black Star Robot. I'm out. New York City, here I come.